While COVID-19 dominated the news in 2020, climate change, the defining challenge of our time, continued to worsen. The outlook for Ireland's environment is not optimistic. Emissions continue to rise, our pristine waters are on the decline, and habitat destruction threatens our biodiversity. Environmental indicators across many areas are going the wrong way. But the good news is, we have the solutions. It's now time to implement them. It's been a difficult year, but one that has also helped remind us of how important our blue and green spaces are. How crucial they are to our health and well-being. And that now, more than ever, it's vital that we protect them. This has all led to a growing understanding among us and our policymakers that change is needed. Every four years, the Environmental Protection Agency publishes a State of the Environment report based on findings from our researchers. It's like a scorecard, examining every aspect of our environment. And while there are areas that are improving, it has revealed many areas that are not. Transitioning to a carbon neutral economy will mean change. Changes to how we get around, how we farm the land, and changes in how we power our homes and businesses. But with these changes come cleaner air and cleaner water. It's hard to feel optimistic during the pandemic, but maybe this is Ireland's chance to hit the reset button. A chance to move away from a throwaway economy to a circular one. A time to move toward a more equitable society. One that lives in balance with the natural world. Everything in our environment is interconnected. And so too has to be our approach. A single overarching policy position is needed. A vision to protect Ireland's environment into the future. We all have a role to play, whether it's government, businesses, communities or as individuals. And with the help of our State of the Environment report, we can all contribute to the protection of our environment and ultimately our health.